What's going on, guys? MDLP from the Battle Axe, the Strongman Gym in Miami, where strength is everything. Um, answering a question from one of my Instagram followers, um, asking me about knee wraps, knee sleeves, and knee pain when he squats. Um, so there's a lot of uh, maybe controversy, not so much in the strength world, but everything outside of the strength world about knee wraps, knee sleeves, and going completely, you know, uh, I guess raw dog, if you want to call it. Um, if you guys don't know, raw lifting is you can use knee wraps, knee sleeves, or none at all. It's still considered raw lifting uh, in the powerlifting world. And then when you use use the wraps, um, you know, I, I mean, the anything else from that is just whatever. It's still considered raw lifting. You just get, uh, it'll say with wraps. You're part of the wraps group, if that makes sense. Um, so if you're not a, a power lifter, I'm going to talk to you guys, especially the guy who was asking me the question. If you're just interested in getting stronger um, for strong men or, or everything in general, ways that I personally got over some knee pain um, and whether I, I use or don't use sleeves or what kind of sleeves I use. So um, in after my November show in, in strong man, I had a lot of uh, joint pain. So I was cutting weight. Man, I have like literally a frohawk. This is embarrassing. I need a haircut. Um, I had a lot of knee pain. I was starting to lose weight. I had planned to go down to the 200 class. So I was losing fat. Um, so I'd always and losing weight always kind of takes it out of the joints. I had been training for like eight months straight, um, and I had a lot of knee pain. So squatting 225, 315, no matter what I wore, was starting to cause a lot of knee pain. So I've always had reband knee sleeves, the blue ones, the more aggressive ones. Um, and I didn't consider knee wraps, which is like, if you guys don't know the, the basically just two meter wraps or 2.5 meters, I got the basic ones from Elite FTS and it's kind of like a stretching material and you wrap it around your knee. After having a lot of pain and about going to do a powerlifting show in January, I said, well, fuck it. I need something to build my confidence, uh, relieve the knee pain and get my ass in depth without hesitation. Because when you have knee pain, you start to hesitate, and when you lift heavy, any kind of hesitation leads to injury and leads to a failure, um, or not even getting the weight up at all. So, which is what failure means, doesn't it? Anyways, um, so let's say I have right currently right now I'm squatting somewhere in the low 500s, mid 500s. Let's say your squat is 400 to make it simple. Um, I would start, <clears throat> let's say just arbitrary numbers, 135 without knee sleep, just normal knees. Put some. Uh, Elite FTS or horse a little bit on those knees, get them warmed up. A lot of mobility stuff out there uh, to help your knees warm up. Um, I know that you know a lot of people say, well, if you shouldn't have knee pains when you squat. Look, man, if you've been under the barbell for a long time, knee pain is just knee pain. If you're not fucking 20 years old and you're pushing 30 or past 30, you're going to fucking knee pain no matter what you do. So uh, 35, 135 without that, about 225 again. Once I start getting into about 60%, 50% of my one rep max, I put on uh, some horse linen on my knees and I throw on my reband knee sleeves um, and just keep my knees warm. That instantly helps me feel better um, and that helps me just with my confidence and getting in proper form, sticking my butt out, pushing my knees out in the hole and just really just dipping in that, in that hole. That's what she said. Um, and I feel pretty good. Once I start getting about 70, 75% of my one rep max, um, I start to I put on my knee wraps. Um, the ones I have currently, the ones I have right now, are the Eric Littlebridge, the ones by How Much You Bench, the PR wraps. There, I love them. They're very very aggressive. I wouldn't suggest them for somebody who just started using knee wraps. I think I'd use the basic ones, Elite FTS or Titans or anything like that. Um, and I put those on for two reasons: a to support my knee because I'm a strong man, and in strong man you're allowed to use knee wraps in almost everything. Number two. Um, they're pretty worn out. My knees are worn out from lifting stones and kegs and stuff like that, so I don't mind the support. Uh, number three, my confidence. It really just it helps. It feels. It makes me feel better. And number four, it helps me overload train. So if I can squat maybe 405 without knee, knee, knee wraps, I can probably get about 30, 40 pounds out of them, maybe if they're really done, especially if somebody else does them for me. Um, and I can just overload my joints. So that will help me continue to build my, I want to say, raw or completely naked squat. 
Um, how is it so? Because you're letting your joints get stronger to catch up with that weight to feel better. You're building the muscle anyway. It's kind of like wearing a slingshot. It's kind of like wearing simple briefs. It's part of my overload training. When I compete in powerlifting, I wear knee wraps. That's just me. I'm not out there to break any records. I just feel comfortable. And I like powerlifting as a hobby in, in the sense of it's next to, second to strongman. Um, it helps a lot with knee pain. It is aggressive. It takes a little bit out of the knees anyways because you are going heavy. But I found that doing you know sets of three and five with some knee wraps has really built the strength around my knees, around my joints, um, and just allowing me to hold heavier weight with a lot more confidence and really just help me dip into that into the bottom of that squat with way more confidence and speed and just kind of aggression so um, as far as the brands of stuff I like using my rebands first and if I'm feeling good I might you know stick with them for a while I have days where I don't use my knee wraps and I just use the sleeves and I have days where I don't use any of them and I go light so try to vary those things throw them in there like you would using uh, a, a slingshot or any kind of powerlifting gear or using board press maybe alternate the weeks and that will help you build that uh, that joint structure and allow you to just have a little bit less, less knee pain so of course there's a whole discussion about knee pains and mobility and all that aside from this conversation but it was really asking about gear and how to wear and how I feel about wearing knee sleeves and knee wraps and everything like that if you're against this kind of stuff more power to you man lift however the fuck you want to do um, but I think that there are tools in making yourself stronger and they should all be part of your training program when it becomes a strength issue and or you have some sort of injuries like using the belt and straps, etc. They're there for a reason. So hope this helps, brother. Um, keep the lifting going and keep me posted.